exclamation everybody and welcome to another channel update this one for january 2017 uh it's brand new year brand new uh adventures <laughs> under underway um i like to do this update uh once a month just to give you guys like peel back the the veil as it were and give you guys a little bit of a a look see at what's going on with the channel what I'm thinking about and what's, what's happening and all that stuff things that don't generally fall into the uh, normal purview of other uh, videos uh, first of all some statistics from last month we had uh, we went from 95,338 total channel views to 99,262 if you followed me on Twitter, you noticed that I probably at one point said that I had hit 100,000 views. Well, I did, um, but uh, YouTube is a is a tease, a really, really big tease, because <laughs> I had I had hit uh, according to YouTube 100,290 100, something views, um, and then within a day or two, it was back down to about 97,000. Uh, how all those views just disappeared or were miscounted, I don't know. It's, they, they have one job and they can't seem to do it right. So that, <laughs> that is where we stand that. So we haven't quite hit 100,000 views, ch total channel views yet, unfortunately, even though, uh, so I, I jumped the gun a little bit on that. That was my fault entirely. I should know by now. I should know better than that. Um... But last month we had 367 subscribers, we're now up to 377 subscribers, so we had 10 subs this month, which is pretty good. And we went from 11,154 total minutes view to down to 10,090, so that's fine. And uh, went from 1,822 videos to 1,889, it's slowed down a bit as far as the video creation is concerned. I've had a couple quite a few days where I either didn't have anything or uh, maybe one video instead of two. Uh, that's just due to just being busy. Uh, my weekends have been kind of weird lately. And as far as the uh, subscribers on my streaming channels go, Memory League Doom has 25 subscribers. That's down from 26 last month. Uh, the Memory League Death Twitch channel went from 48 subscribers to 50. So that's good. And our the Beam channel, Beam.io channel, has uh, uh, stayed steady at just one subscriber. So that's what we have so far as, as far as all the uh, statistics and everything else go. So what about the things around the channel and going on on the channel? First of all, uh, I was going to do a, a webcam um, during this video, but uh, I'm having... I'm, struggling to get the the video to actually play while I'm uh, while I'm recording here as far as OBS is concerned this video is um, when I recorded this from DOSBox like every little segment of this uh, got split up into another video uh, just due to the way that uh, the game actually uh, um, you know switches video modes every time you go between things so it made it a little bit difficult for OBS to kind of show me everything correctly. And also it was struggling with the, with the uh, video format and stuff. So eh, we're just going to do this one without, without the webcam. But uh, I should mention <laughs> as I'm now like almost five minutes in, I haven't mentioned it yet. The game in the background is jazz Jackrabbit. And I feel almost bad talking over it because the one thing I remember the most about this game is it's got fantastic music. Absolutely fantastic music. Um, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm going to be talking over it the whole time here. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can see my my general lack of ability when it comes to platformers uh, in full display here, as we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I, I did, uh, as far as the webcam is concerned, I did get a green screen. Um not quite it's it's working but not as well as i'd like it to i need to get i think some lighting there's i guess some shadows being cast on the green screen so it's hard to uh actually you, you can see a little bit of it uh in my live streams but other than that working on that though that'll that'll be something a, a long term uh tweaking as we go along with that but otherwise it's working pretty good and figured out uh, what was going on with the audio as far as the 
uh, my my audio is concerned, uh, my commentary audio, with the live streams where it was only coming out of one channel, I uh, discovered that in OBS there's a very weird hidden yeah. setting um, where if you say down sample to mono, it will actually take your take your stereo input and actually make it come out of both channels, both the left and right channel. So hopefully that has been fixed as of the last uh, live stream. I haven't listened back to it yet to, to tell, but I, I'm hoping it has been. And uh, so we got that. So I got all that working finally. Uh, we're able to get through the main quest of Borderlands 2 and moved on to the DLC. Uh, I'm working on the uh, Pirate Cove DLC for that one right now in, in the Oasis area for for that. And then we've got two other DLCs that I'll probably do. Uh, one of them is the uh, might do the Big Game Hunter one and the um, the one that was like a Dungeons and Dragons one, the Tiny Tina's uh, adventure thing. Uh, and then once those are done, uh, I'll be moving on to Borderlands the pre-sequel. And then <laughs> by the time I get through Borderlands the pre-sequel, we'll probably Borderlands 3 will probably be out at that point. Uh, so that's uh, where it's going so far with the streaming. I do uh, intend on getting some more some more streaming going. I've been trying to, I've been debating left and right as to which one I want to do or what 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 games I want to do uh, as a stream. Um I think I have an idea now. I just now have to come up with a uh, uh a good day to do it. Uh I've been so far behind lately on the videos and it's not really that I've been behind on recording videos. It's it's that I've been behind on rendering and editing them. Um at some point I need to kind of clamp down and actually just edit a whole bunch of stuff and then just I can render it on the fly but just to you know edit it at least so that I have that because that's really what's taking up most of my time is just sitting there going through and editing uh, the video the, the rendering I just have that happen overnight and if I could just you know get a bunch of episodes edited at once instead of just doing one at a time I'd be able to uh, get back on schedule. I think I just I've just been very lax with that uh, as it stands uh, lately. So that's that's really what's been holding me back the most. And then you know Saturdays I've I've ended up without any videos uh, ready to go because I've haven't been don't have anything edited. And by the time I get done a live stream, I'm too freaking tired to to do anything. You know, live streams usually last about two to three hours. And then I just don't want to sit down to edit anything. I'm just out of it at that point. Um, so I'm, I'm working on some of that. We'll, we'll see how I can uh, bring all that back up to speed and get back to an, an output that I that is a little bit more respectable than what I've had recently. Um, but I did just finish uh, recording Tachyon the Fringe. There's going to be one more episode of that. I need to... I've recorded a video for it. I need to record the audio, the, the ending audio of that because what ended up happening was I um, was ha I was struggling with the final episode. So I said, you know what, let me just record it uh, without any commentary and then I'll just go back and do post commentary on it with a very highly edited uh, final mission there because it, it took me something like three hours to finish the final mission because I kept dying over and over and over again. Um, so that's, and, and I've done that once before already with, with the game because some of those final missions are, um, A, difficult and B, somewhat broken. Uh, luckily the final, final mission is not broken, it's just very difficult and it takes you like 15 minutes to get through it, uh, depending on, uh, your, the luck of the draw there. So, so that's, uh, that's where we stand with that. That's, uh, completed, uh, and I'll have my final thoughts on that. Uh, ready to go. That should be coming out this week at some point. I still need to sit here and record it. So we'll see. Maybe if I whoop, if I don't hit my mic and if I uh, <laughs> clamp down a little bit tonight, maybe I'll be able to record that final one. I don't know. I might It might end up being tomorrow on that one. Um, so that's what I have there as far as Tachyon is concerned. Very much, I do want to get a bunch of more spacey things in there. Um... I uh, was thinking about since uh, since we've just had the death of uh, John Hurt uh, 
pretty famous actor. Um, I was thinking about playing through Privateer 2, Wing Commander Privateer 2, The Darkening, um, for the first time ever. I've never actually played the game. I own it because I bought a whole bunch of Wing Commander games when they were on sale on GOG. Um, I played through the first Privateer, uh, although I did not play through Righteous Fire. I would like to play through that at some point. Um, I think what I'm going to do, though, at least for the, for the original Privateer, is I'm only going to record the story missions. Because there's a lot of downtime in between, a lot of grinding and stuff like that. Probably do the same thing for Righteous Fire. Um, but those, uh, don't expect those anytime soon, though. I think what I like to do is actually play uh, Privateer 2 at some point and... Uh, maybe uh, see how that goes because I, I, I've played through about 15 minutes of it just to see what it is and it's uh, <laughs> it's very very B-movie bonkers kind of thing and I didn't get a chance to really play any of the actual space fight I just was looking at the uh, at the, the opening movies and cutscenes and stuff and uh, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be at least at least as far as comedy is concerned it's gonna be a, a treasure trove of me being able to just comment on all the crazy weird stuff that I see on the screen. Um, so at the very least, I'd like to I'd like to do that. I was told I should never play the game, uh, so I'm going to try and play it <laughs> because, like I said, it's one of the few Wing Commander games I have not played. Uh, I didn't play um, uh, Privateer, not Privateer, um, uh, Prophecy. I didn't play that one either because I didn't really like the way that looked or the way it was going um, but the uh, all the other ones in the series I've played at some point so I, I kind of want to circle around and, and uh, have those on the channel eventually um, but there is a lot of uh, classic games I guess uh, that I'd like to get on there I've been looking at uh, some first person shooters namely I, I did promise at some point I would do No One Lives Forever if I can provide it, I can get it working again. I had it working at one point, and then it decided to quit on me. Um, hopefully, I can get that working again, because uh, I would like to play through No One Lives Forever. I also have No One Lives Forever 2, and I have Contract Jack, uh, but I'll probably play through those at different times. I don't want to. I don't want to stack them all together if I can help it. Um, I also have uh, found a place online where I could purchase the. Uh, um, Star Trek Elite Force and Elite Force 2 uh, so I would like to play those as well uh, I'm kind of waiting on those because there's a bunch of Star Trek games I actually want to play but I'm trying not to overload the channel with just Star Trek stuff we're still playing Star Trek Online and I will be continuing to play Star Trek Online for a little while longer maybe a couple maybe another month or two um, I would say because uh, we're getting too close to the end of that. I mean, there's there's still a lot of uh, missions left. Uh, we still have, like, Dyson Sphere stuff to do and all that stuff. Um, I'd like to take a break from the Romulan stuff that we're doing because it's not really that interesting or compelling. And uh, play the new Season 12 that just came out. Plus, there's some rewards for Season 12 that I would like to partake in. Uh, but I need to... I need to, to, in order to do that, I need to play the Season 12 uh, mission. So I might actually play that out of out of sequence just so that I can get to the uh, the ship that they have. Or at least have a chance of getting the ship drop. And um, beyond that, yeah, Star Trek Online will continue for a little while. And then I would like to get some more Star Trek stuff on the channel. Because uh, I am a huge fan of it. I was thinking about doing a playthrough of Star Trek uh, the the point and click games so uh, I own both the uh, 25th anniversary and uh, judgment rights I probably am gonna look through a, a walkthrough before I go through it again uh, because I did play them a long time ago and I probably remember some of the solutions to the, to the problems, but I, I, I do want to make it, uh, I do want to kind of time box it a little bit so I'm not spending a whole lot of time just kind of twiddling my thumbs trying to figure out how uh, to get past some of the puzzles on them. Uh, they're not usually generally that difficult, it's just there's a way to get 100% and I kind of want to 100% uh, 
uh, those those challenges and not just get like a half half decent mark uh, at times. So that one I would like to do at some point too, uh, just for the sake of just because I love Star Trek uh, and I love to get those on the channel. Um, also, uh, as far as the side scrollers go, I'm playing right now Rise and Shine, which is a, a new uh, platformer out there that uh, I did not realize was incredibly difficult, but it is, in fact, incredibly difficult. Uh, I still have a bunch of footage of that recorded. I haven't finished it yet, uh, but I would like to finish that. I also like to revisit Nefarious. I did a side quest video on that. I believe that that game is, uh, from what I've seen, it looks like it's a relatively short game, and I think the Rise and Shine is a relatively short game as well. So I'd like to be able to do both of those. Um, I went from having no platformers really on the channel to now I'll probably have three or four. Uh, so that's uh, that's where I want to go with that. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just in that mood to just kind of knock out a few uh, relatively short um, series. Uh, just to just for the sake of having them, and ha and you know they're fun games. I, I really liked uh, playing them. So uh, despite my my lack of uh, of abilities in Rise and Shine, I'm still enjoying it. So I like to be able to go through those. I also do want to at some point finish uh, Evil Quest. I was all the way up to the final boss in Evil Quest, and I kept dying to him. So really, I just need to sit down at some point and just record that without commentary and then come back and, and finish what we had with that. I think, um, I believe I still have the uh, raw footage left that would constitute the final episode of that. I'll have to look and see. If not, I'll I'll salvage what I can from that, but I would like to finish that. I mean, we're, we were right up towards the end of the game. And I would like to uh, actually finish that series properly. So uh, that's also something else I'd like to take a look at. And then we got a bunch of uh, a bunch of games coming out, like Kickstarter games and whatnot, that and early access games that uh, need to be revisited. Uh, so I'd like to come back uh, to those as well. I, I I don't have the list of them right now. I, I have them kind of vaguely in my mind. Uh, the ones I think are nearing. Uh, completion. I think uh, 3030 Death War Redux is one that I would like to do. Probably do that on a stream because I know that's going to be a lot of downtime. Um, but maybe I can edit that together and, and have like a small series on it as well. And then um, what else do we have on, on the list here? So Force Horizon 3, I am playing through the Blizzard Mountain DLC. It's uh, it's better than the main game but still it's may not be the best content ever uh, because basically I'm playing there, there's a very limited number of, of cars that actually seem to work well uh, in the Blizzard Mountain DLC the rest seem to just be not very good in fact when I say limited I really mean one <laughs> which is the Warthog seems to be the only car that really is basically drivable um, in the Blizzard Mountain DLC pack. So I'm going to see what I can do about getting a little bit of variety in that. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't know that I'm going to complete the DLC uh, on as, as a series, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know how many rounds there are or anything like that in order to complete it. So uh, going to keep a, keep an eye on that if you're into the, the racing game stuff. And then I was looking around to see if I could find another racing game that uh, would be interesting. I did start to play some Burnout Paradise. I have some footage recorded of that. I may end up re-recording that footage. I'm not sure. Um, Burnout Paradise I, is a game I, I love, but for some reason recording it looks really crappy. Like, uh, I, I, I don't know why that is. I've tried... I think I've got to a point where the recorded footage doesn't look that bad, but even locally it's like very pixelated and blocky. Um, and I, I don't know why that particular game has that much of a problem. I, I assume it has something to do with maybe um, motion blur or something. Not entirely sure, but uh, I, if I can get that looking halfway decent, 
then uh, I would like to do a Let's Play series on that because I really enjoy that game a lot. And it would give us something different than what we've played previously. But beyond that, I am looking at other things that are racing games that I might enjoy. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I haven't. I don't have any idea yet what I would like to do. I looked a little bit briefly at like Project Cars, and it wasn't really resonating with me per se. But I, I didn't give it that much of a chance. So I, I think I'd like to go back and try to give it a better chance. Uh, I've played a little bit of um, WRX uh, five. Is it? I, I forget what number it was up to. Uh, that was interesting, but it's a little bit too simmy for me, and uh, I think I could probably revisit Red Out, because uh, I believe I have that, and there's some other sort of arcade racing games. I I've got a bunch of uh, Codemasters games as far as Dirt, Dirt Rally, and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll play any of those, but that's something else that I have on my on my mind, on my brain, in case in case maybe maybe something uh, to come of that. But uh, that's where we're looking as far as the racing games go. And let's see, as far as strategy games, I was thinking Star Trek Armada. And again, I'm I'm on a Star Trek kick lately, but I, I did get Star Trek Armada to work uh, on my machine, and I would like to maybe do that. Um, but I, I, I want to do Homeworld at some point. I'm just, every time I sit down to do Homeworld, I get really, really afraid, uh, because I know that it's a game that has a lot of downtime and a lot of redos and it's, I'm just afraid of how much work it's going to be to make something watchable out of Homeworld. So I've been kind of putting that off a little bit. I did get Star Trek Armada 3 to work somewhat uh, in Sins of the Solar Empire 3. That's a mod for Sins of the Solar Empire. Um, but uh, the menus were kind of not working quite right, so I have to look more at that. But I did get that at least installed and everything else. So that might also be a, a, a possibility, is to show that mod off. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what else I'd like to do right now as far as the uh, as far as strategy games go I have to really look at some more I was uh, I, I was thinking Master of Orion and, and some of those um I don't know I'm going back and forth on it because it's I like that I need to find something that I can sort of uh, be at least partially good at um, or at least be able to to grok a lot easier than I than I normally do. Strategy games for me are very hit or miss because sometimes I just can't grasp what it is that I need to actually do uh, to be to be good at them. Um, or there's just a lot of downtime that like like Homeworld um, or I'm sorry, Deserts of Karak was one of those games where it was like I was able to finish it pretty easily. But I spent so much time editing and putting stuff together that, uh, and then still coming out with a product that I didn't really feel was that great, or videos that I felt like that weren't that great, that I was like, I don't know if I want to keep going down that path or not. I still want to play strategy games, especially, you know, uh, turn-based and all that stuff. Uh, I just have to be in the right mood, I think, to do it. So uh, I'm kind of waiting on that a little bit. And then uh, I'm waiting for Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divides DLC to come out before we can finish that off. So that hasn't been out yet. Um, as far as sandbox games go, we've got... Uh, I started playing Astroneer. I also started playing Empyrean, Galactic Survival. I have every intention of figuring out what I'm going to do with those. Um, I do want to go back to Empyrean. I was having, I was struggling a little bit in Imperium because it was, uh, I was building a base and off camera and it kept crumbling under me. So I was getting a little bit frustrated with it, but uh, I think I've got some of that sorted out. So I, I just need to sit down and, and just figure out what I want to do with that. I, I 
I'm thinking Empyrean will be the one that comes back. Um, Astroneer, I will probably do maybe another one or two videos on. Because uh, I do have some ideas about what I want to do with that. Uh, but I'm not going to go too crazy with Astroneer. It's, it's not... As much as I enjoy it, it's still kind of early. And I there's so many other ones that I want to play right now. Um, because I'm actually looking at another one called Avorian. Um, which... I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. I only played about an hour of it, so I don't know too much about it right now. But I'm hearing a lot of good things about it, and it might be the staple um, thing that I do for a while. We'll see. Uh, it remind it reminded me a lot of Star Maid. That's another game that I need to revisit. I played it for like a hot minute when it was in early alpha, and I just saw a video of Star Maid the other day, and it has changed quite a bit. It looks a lot better than it did than it used to. Um, so I'm kind of, uh, I kind of want to also look, go, bu go back and look at that too. Although that's more of a creative thing than it was anything else. So we'll see how, how that, uh, works out for me. Um, but that's where we stand. That's where I stand with the, the, um, uh, sandbox games right now. Uh, I do want to get back to, there was a, a game I had played, a sandbox game I had played a while ago that was still in early access. I think it still is in early access. Um, and the name of it escapes me right now, but it was a 2D one. It wasn't Starbound. It was something very similar to that, and I just can't remember the name of it. And they've been constantly updating that game, and that's something else I'd like to revisit at some point. It was the one with the... Uh, the giant robot chicken that came running after me at one point uh signs of life that was the name of it um that one i'd like to get back to at some point i have not been keeping up with it to see what what has happened with that uh since then i know that there's been a lot of changes since the last time i played it um so i'd like to see what's going on on that and revisit it at some point um but there's so many there's so many sandbox games now especially you know, ones where you build a ship and go around the galaxy and stuff that I'm having, I'm struggling to, to really pick one that I want to stick with. Um, so I'm going to, there's going to be a lot of me flip flopping between several different sandbox games, uh, in the near future here, I would say. And, uh, so talking about Privateer and Privateer 2. As far as side-scrolling games go, I was looking at uh, Double Dragon 4, which just got released uh, today, although it's got some mixed reviews. Apparently, it's not really working so well for people. Um, so I kind of put it on the back burner until I figure out what's whether it's, it's worth a purchase or not, or at least wait for it to get fixed up or whatever. Um, but I was thinking that, too, as far as side-scrollers go. Uh, I don't want to get... I don't want to get too deep into it. I don't want to make every video that comes out a side scroller because that's, you know, a platformer because I do want to have a variety channel. So we'll see what goes on with that. Maybe I'll just do that as a stream, uh, as a streaming thing. Uh, not sure right now. And Cube Ramblings. Uh, I, I took a little break from Cube Ramblings. I, it started out as a break just because there was no uh, real news that I wanted to talk about, and I didn't really have too many topics set up. And that's kind of been the case for the last couple of weeks, is that I just haven't felt like I had anything really to talk about as far as games and stuff. I know, I mean, yes, there's some major things have happened, like Nintendo Switch announcement and all that stuff. Uh, but I just didn't feel like it was something that I really wanted to talk about. There's plenty of coverage of it and everything. Um, I might end up saying a few words about it, but it was still one of those things where I just felt like it had been done to death, maybe. Um, and there's far better information out there than anything I would come up with. Plus, I was getting kind of pissed off about some of the uh, comments being made about SD cards that were made from a, a lack of knowledge perspective. But anyway... Uh, and I, did, I didn't want to end up saying something about it uh, for that reason, too. Um, but that said, uh, I think there might be enough this week that I can finally start to get back to Cube Ramblings. I have actually, the background footage has been recorded for the last three weeks. I, I finally 
in Dungeon Dungeon Siege finally got through that freaking uh, one dungeon there with the, with the spider uh, spider boss in it. Uh, and then, if, if I remember correctly, once now that I'm beyond that, the game sort of starts to become uh, almost playable. <laughs> not not playable, but it starts to it starts to get to a point where you can actually. Uh, You'll actually start to get equipment that you can. That's pretty good, and uh, you start to feel like you're actually uh, able to finish the game. You know, not finish the game, but actually able to compete as far as the game is concerned. Because uh, the first couple hours were really difficult to get through because they, you don't have any equipment that's good, and everything just pretty much one shots you, and it's just it was a slog. And then it starts to. I mean, it's still, you still have a long walk ahead of you, but it, it starts to become a little bit more manageable, I think, after that uh, one area. So that's what I, that's where I'm at now, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see my, my final triumph over that damn, <laughs> damn uh, arachnid at the end there. Uh, but it's still, still a lot of the game left to go. That's not even, we're not even, even a quarter of the way through the game, as far as I know. And I've never finished the game either, so it's. But I have been, I have gotten a lot further than than where I'm at. I've gotten to like a, like a nice area almost. Uh, so that will be uh, that will be continuing. Uh, that's as a vehicle for my being able to play some long play some of these these games that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do commentary on because I just they would just take too long uh, to do. So uh, that's that will continue. I hopefully I'll have something this week uh, for that. I'm not sure, but it's looking good. It's looking like I I might have you know some games that I've been playing and some other things to to talk about as far as that's concerned. And as far as games I've been playing, I have a lot of uh, games lined up for to do side quest videos of, and I'll be. Slowly going through that list. I'm trying to uh, I'm adding like mods and stuff to that list so we can look at some mods that are out there. I did unfortunately miss out on the um, I Think the Wing Commander flat universe team had a like a multiplayer session that they set up over a weekend and they were asking people to come sign up for it and, and play uh, unfortunately, and, I, and they were gracious enough to send me an email, but I never actually got back to them because I, I knew I wouldn't have time, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but uh, yeah, my, my weekends have been kind of weird, and they were doing it over a weekend. So, but hopefully, uh, and I'm not—I'll be honest too—I'm not really that interested in it for multiplayer. I, I'm interested more in it for the single-player stuff. But uh, that said. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some more of that uh, coming up and uh, then we got the Star Trek Armada 3 mod that I'd like to do a, a side quest video of at some point I, I was kind of playing around with it a little bit um, and a few other mods along the way I, I would like to I still have a huge backlog of like RPGs to play <laughs> Um, not necessarily for side quests, but just in general. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever get through them or how how I'm going to, what kind of vehicle uh, I'll be able to do to, to get through that. I was I was actually considering, and I, I don't I have to think more about this, but I was considering doing sort of a um, almost a log. Not a not, would you call it a vlog? I, I wouldn't call it necessarily a vlog because people. When you say vlog, that implies that you're just kind of talking about your life and stuff. But it would be kind of like a like an update, like an update video where I uh, play through a game. Like I've been wanting to play through Shadowrun, but I want to kind of do it without having to record. You know what I mean? Like I just want to I just want to immerse myself in it and just play. Um, so I'm. Thinking, my my idea was that, and because if I sit down and record every RPG, we'll never get anything done, right? It's just like I, I can have the video recording, but if I try to do commentary, it's just going to be, it'll never get done, you know what I mean? But if I can kind of concentrate and just do my best in it, we can get through things. And I was thinking maybe I could do like a 
like a 10 to 15 minute video every week or so where I just kind of give an update as to how my characters are doing and what I encountered in like Shadowrun and stuff like that just so I can it would be kind of like a a a travel log almost but for video games I don't think anybody has done anything like that I people have done like done stuff like that in uh, in written form I know they've done that in written form because that's how that's how let's plays actually kind of started is that they started in sort of a written form where somebody would play like through dwarf, dwarf fortress was it was a uh, very uh, prominent one and they would just have a write-up of of how their uh, citizens have done how their dwarves have done and what happened and all the events that took place and I, I kind of want to do the same thing but with a video and just kind of show like little clips here and there of things that I you know major things that I encountered and what happened and stuff like that I don't know if it's something that people would want to watch but I'm interested enough to try it out and see what happens um, but I again I need to I need time to do that because I was also thinking like you know if cube ramblings never comes back then uh, I, I still have to play through dungeon siege and all that stuff but uh, cube ramblings is definitely coming back don't worry about it but it's it's uh, it was in the back of my mind like hey I've already started dungeon siege and I would like to get finish that um, but I'm also like I've been wanting for a while to get through Shadow Run because I have Shadow Run. I've got the you know director's cut. I've got the uh, uh, Hong Kong I think uh, expansion and all that stuff. And I haven't touched any of it. And I and I've I've never played a Shadow Run game, so I don't know anything about the lore or the background. And so I kind of want to to just do it to just play it like a normal person would play a game and, and just kind of immerse in it and see what. And see what comes out so uh, that's one of those things um, I still have Dragon Quest builders on the PS4 here and I haven't I, I've only barely cracked the shell of that one I, that was another one I was thinking like maybe I could do that as sort of like a, a travel log type of uh, video as well where it's like oh there's the things I encounter but that that game seems to lend itself more to just like here's actually what happened uh, not like here's a summary of what happened um, so we'll see on that one that one might just be something that I play for myself and not any, and not do a recordings of um, but that's that's those are those are my thoughts about what's going on on the channel and my thoughts about what I've been uh, looking at I do want to eventually uh, add, change some of my end slates I have an idea on that I wanted to take a scene from the um, I expect you to die video game where you're where I'm just sitting there at the uh, at the desk and you got a cigar in your mouth and you've got the the screen the projector screen there I recorded some footage of me just trying to hold my my head as still as possible and, and looking at that uh, and my hope is that I'll be able to somehow make that work in such a way that I can get to, like an end slate together for that and have just one have videos on you know playing on the projector there and have the cigar smoke you know wafting up from it um, we'll see my my prowess with the editing software is not so great so I'll probably end up just <laughs> stuck with like a, another static image or something as a background and not a video moving image but uh, that's what I'm looking for for that I just need to again it, Every time I sit down to do something like that, it usually takes, uh, history being what it is, it usually takes almost the entire day just to just to get it all set up. It doesn't take very long to render it because it's only like 30 seconds, but it takes all day just to get all the settings right and to get it to look halfway decent and all those things. So uh, hopefully sometime soon you'll be able to see some of those if I, if I manage to make it look halfway decent. Uh, if, if, if at all, if nothing else, I do need to at least add some new end slates because a lot of the slates that I, I show at the end of videos now are pretty old. Like they're showing games that I played, you know, over a year ago. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that there's a lot of video games I played in the middle that were pretty good that I don't have end slates set up for. So I'd like to get more varieta uh, set up as far as that's concerned. But... 
that will do it for this channel update. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And uh, I will see you, hopefully, uh, in uh, the next ch in the next video, in the next series, in the next other things. Uh, but I'll, I'll be uh, keeping you guys up to date. And uh, thanks again for watching. And see you, bye.